Does your aim look like this? Well, I'm a two-time world champion with 10 plus years of pro player experience, and I'm here to help you guys get your aim to the next level. Let's get it. We got five big tips to break down, and you're not going to want to miss the last one. To start off right away, this is one of the most important things when it comes to, I guess, shooting straight and being consistent with your shot. It's going to be recoil control. So obviously, every gun has a recoil pattern. And for the most part, it's a lot of vertical recoil. So if you can kind of get that down, laser. A good way to test the recoil control and kind of see what you're working with is go with the, go to a wall and start shooting. Your, your gun's going to start shooting up or horizontal or vertical. And you can see if a gun is just shooting kind of up and it's a vertical. And all you have to do in this situation is hold down your stick or ho hold down your mouse. And you're going to see you can be very precise. Now, weapons, depending on their build, can have better recoil control in general. So it's going to allow you to be even more consistent with your shot. But understanding that recoil pattern at first is extremely important. So once you understand that recoil control, you're able to really laser a guy across the map. For example, this is an SMG. It does have a little bit of a horizontal kick, but it's mainly vertical. And when it's mainly vertical, I get to do things like this. So this is like kind of trial and error. When you're shooting, you're going to get a lot better at it, but you're going to start to realize like a lot of weapons in Call of Duty just requires you to hold down your stick or your mouse. So to therefore to just hit those really long range shots. And at first you might struggle with this a little bit, but you're over time, it's going to become more like muscle memory and you can do things like that. Now for the next big tip that all the pro players use very effectively, and it's something that if you're not doing you are going to get killed a lot and just not be on a high level of performance. And that is centering. Now, I talk about this in many videos and in the previous years. Centering is so essential to be like basically on your target, ready to fire. But on top of it, you're not having to re-snap. So like, for example, when I'm maneuvering on the, around the map, centering, centering is essentially just ready, like centering in the middle and getting ready on my target. So you see how like I turn around this corner, I'm centered. A good example of bad centering is maybe doing this. Another example of bad centering is like instead of centering where you're maneuvering or like heading towards to, for example, like this, this is good centering. Instead of doing that, you could be doing something like this. You're not you're not centering effectively. So right there, that guy could have potentially killed me if I wasn't centering. So something like this and centering, you can see like while I'm running around the map, I'm always trying to be centered in the middle of the screen and also where I'm anticipating an opponent. That way, like I'm ready for the fight and all I have to do is snap. And this also varies on the levels of the map. Obviously, something like, for example, I'm centering here. I'm going to kill this guy. Now, when a staircase comes into play, you're going to have to center top, right? You're going to have to look up. So instead of like doing this, which is horrible centering, you don't want to do that. Let me gun this little bot first. You're going to want to do this. See how like my centering, the difference? Now, this is a little bit of a muscle memory and it does take time to really adapt and get used to, but this is going to be one of the most important things and something that's gonna allow you to absolutely snap on your opponents and hit those crazy shots. Another big setting tip, and this is absolutely new. You wanna go to your interface settings and then you wanna change center dot and you wanna put that on. And if you want, I have it, I used to put it on default, but now I have it on larger. And basically this is gonna put this dot in the middle of the screen. Now this used to never be a thing, but this is also gonna allow you to have even better centering and you're always just ready. So you can see I'm centered without having my actual weapon out. If you're sprinting, you just always have that dot in the middle of your screen basically centered and ready for action and it's really good but i'm telling you man centering is going to be a day and night difference a night and day it's going to be a completely different world once you really start getting your centering down and you're going to see like holy snap i'm actually snapping on people i'm actually you know playing a lot better and this is something that i always preach and i tell people and at a high level if you if you watch pro players play or some of the best players in the world to play you're going to notice their centering is absolutely incredible and they're always centered and ready for action because if not at a high level man the smallest the smallest difference you know half a second a couple milliseconds could be all all it takes for you to die or not get the kill and then yeah boom you're dead and you lose and that brings me to the next tip tip number three we're going to be talking about one using both sticks basically shooting while strafing and on top of it rotational aim assist now, this is something that has been brought up in the past couple of years, and people are starting to talk about it more and more. This is obviously good for, you know, controller players who have aim assist, but this is gonna, this uh, technique and just in general can also be used even if you're on mouse and key. Because essentially what this is, is the fact that, one, we'll talk about the first thing. When you're shooting somebody, you always want to be strafing. Like, any time I'm shooting, I'm never doing this. Like, not moving. The only time I never move is if I'm in a head glitch. And even then, I usually still move a little bit. So if I'm like this, like, I'm still doing this. You know what I'm saying? One, you become a harder target, obviously. But two, when you're moving, you can make smaller adjustments easier. So if I'm doing this, 
it's all on the right stick right which can be a little difficult especially at certain ranges or some gun, certain gunfights you know you're relying heavily only on your right stick the smallest minuscule uh mistake can you know make you miss when you're strafing you're also kind of strafing your shot into them so it becomes a lot easier it's no longer just relying on your right stick but now you're using your left stick and this also varies on the gun it varies on the movement speed and the strafe speed because some strafing guns you can, you can abuse this even more uh you can basically strafe your shot into them like this and it's very very effective this is this is how you be a little bit more consistent with your shot not so heavily relying only on your right stick but practice with your left and, it, and I, it's weird enough because like you people are probably going like you're barely moving i know i'm barely moving but i'm still strafing left and right when i'm shooting even if it's a little bit even if it's you know slowly i'm doing it and you got to practice this make this muscle memory and that's going to go into the next big thing and it's considered a cheat code for controller players and it's called rotational aim assist so basically rotation what rotational aim assist is is when you're preaming still your aim assist pull isn't that good as soon as you start strafing left and right you're gonna see like aim assist is getting pulled now you see how it's getting stuck on him I'm, I'm not moving my right stick at all but you can see it's kind of sticking on him so that's what kind of ro rotational aim assist is you see how like it's kind of like following him a little bit and that's basically gonna allow you to have more stickier and more aim assist in fights and obviously as a controller player that's extremely important we don't have our whole arm to really get hit those precise shots as people say the mouse and keyboard players do have so this rotational aim assist is something you want to abuse and that's why strafing on top of making yourself a harder target but like also allows you to hit be more consistent with your shot it also allows you to have more aim assist essentially rotational aim assist and that is something you do want when you're on controller you want that rotational aim assist so you can do things like that and just hit people with absolute lasers like this guy right here laser now for the next thing I know this is sometimes maybe a no-brainer or a simple thing, but having settings is extremely important. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, if I have the worst settings, if I had some if I'm playing on a high sensitivity, you know, some of the worst settings possible, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be as good as the player I can be. I'm not gonna be doing this and like being really consistent with my shot and lasering people. I'm definitely gonna struggle a bit. So settings are extremely important. That's something we're gonna be talking about right now. And breaking it down a bit as quickly as we can so obviously you guys won't miss like that and as always if you guys are enjoying the video man make sure to drop that like and subscribe so we're gonna go be going through the important settings really quickly something i recommend always play on a lower sensitivity between six to eight usually and your ads sense wants to be around a one ads sense so if you're playing a six six for example it wants to be, be around a six ads sense that's pretty much a good medium where it's like fast but not too fast and it's slow but it's not as slow too slow six six one is kind of what all the pro players play for the most part um i used to be a pro player for 10 years but now i like playing on a slightly higher sense just for fun so i like 77.9 7 you want to make sure your target aim assist is on of course aim assist type black ops is recommended this is kind of like a stickier aim assist people say i personally love default but if you feel like you want to have more aim assist or test this out go ahead dynamic is a must dynamic is going to be a pretty big game changer and what i will say and i say this with everybody is that it might if you're like a player who struggles with aim and you're not like really at the top of your level yet this might feel weird at first it's definitely gonna take time to get used to but this really unlocks your full potential and lastly you want to make sure your dead zones are at a good level so for example my right stick minimum you usually want to have it around default which is 0 0.05 usually when you have a higher dead zone guys your aim is going to start to struggle because you're going to have sort of an input delay that you input yourself because of this dead zone usually it is good for stick drift but if you have to go over like a one a 0 0.10 like you're basically chalked anything high up here man your aim is going to get real it's going to get punished so I usually recommend default 0 0.05. You know, if you have to go a little bit higher, you have to do what you have to do. And then right stick max, you have you want to have it at 0 0.99. Again, the default, because it gets a little weird if you don't. Now, this is going to be a big game changer tip. What I want you to do is start up a custom lobby. Make sure it's free for all. Put on Mercado Las Almas. And then you want to go to bot setup. Put the bots on five. And you can have it on regular for now. If you start to improve, you can definitely up it a bit. Time limit, just put it unlimited. I like to have this on 100 and just do this a couple times a day or at least once a day next your max health i want it on 150 instead of the base 100 especially in a game like this where the ttk is really fast and lastly you want to make sure you have your mini map fire on so when people shoot when the bots are shooting you kind of know where they're at and this is something it's going to be huge i want you to run through this lobby play for the 100 kills 100 points and while you're playing this execute everything i talked about centering when you're running around the map center center well anticipate your opponent with the centering because a lot of these tips that i gave you are going to be muscle memory so you're going to see like i'm centering around the map 
centering. I know where my opponents are basically going to be. So this is a good way to practice your centering. So like, I know this guy's going to come around the corner. I know this guy's going to be here. And this is why you want to have your mini map on. This is a huge thing for free fall. You see it's 150 health. So TTK is a little bit longer than usual. I'm centering, 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 centering. Nice. So you can see like you get to center, like practice centering in general, but then also practice centering and anticipating your opponent. Play for the snap. Pretend like you don't know they're there. Do not go around the corner. Do not, do not do this. Do not preem around the corner. Do not do this. I want you to practice your centering and snap. And then it goes to the next thing. Practice the other things I talked about. Recoil control. Since there's more health, you have to shoot at your opponent for a little bit longer of time. Practice your recoil control. When you're shooting at people, remember, hold down your stick. This allows to basically everything I talked about, the first couple tips, this allows you to really practice it in muscle memory and execute them. When you're playing pubs or anything like, you know, whatever you, you want to play, it's going to be a lot harder if you're dying a lot. And if you're struggling with your aim, this is going to be a huge, huge thing to do. That's going to really help you improve, especially quickly because you have the idea. You understand what you have to do. So now it's just about executing. It's about reps. It's, it's about muscle memory. You practice recoil control. You practice the centering again while you're shooting. Practice strafing left and right. Execute all these things with the right settings. And I'll guarantee you, you guys are going to improve drastically. It might take a little bit of time, but you're going to notice a big difference in your aim and you're going to be amazed. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this helped you, make sure to like and subscribe. And we're going to be doing more tip videos in the near future. So don't miss it.